Hi, now I'm going to show you tomato rasam. These are tomatoes washed. I added some salt and microwaved them for six minutes. Once they are cool, it doesn't matter if it is not cool also, but I let them cool and salt to retain the color. We are going to take it into a vessel. Now I am going to, this is my hand blender. It's very useful for making nice purees. So we are going to hand blend the top. any tomato peel it nicely gets gets mushed up and there's nothing that goes waste in here you see how nicely it blended it now i'm going to put some turmeric I tend to use a lot of turmeric as it is good for health and nowadays we are even getting organic turmeric in any store and then you add salt rasam does take a lot of salt I don't know why I am going to add some red chilies the um, maybe few pieces of sliced onions this gives good taste to the rasam some chopped coriander very little maybe quarter teaspoon of ginger garlic paste mix it nicely I'm add, adding turmeric sorry tamarind paste not so much little bit should be enough you can avoid if you want to and then we'll pour water that's my tomato bowl. I'm adding more water because I have around 8 tomatoes. If you want to make less, cut it into half. That makes um, enough for two to three people but this will go for at least eight people it can stay in the fridge for three to four days the hand blender i showed you earlier is very useful for puree stuff um, even if the tomatoes were hot you can usually use that but you always need to take a deep vessel for that when you are pureeing otherwise it will splatter everywhere now we are going to put this rasam bowl on the stop, on the stout top. Now I am going to let it boil at least for 15 minutes on medium until it gets a good boiling, uh, until it gets to the good boiling point, sorry. You can add a spoon of uh, boiled tuvar dal at this time if you want to. Um, you can add grated carrot. It gives a great taste and a little bit of more vegetables. And also for any boiling things like this, which could 
um, overflow from the bowl you can place a spatula on top that prevents it from overflowing now once it comes to a boil after some time at this point like everything starts floating on the top this is a rasam powder i found recently spicy telugu charu masala it tastes good if not you can add mtr rasam powder for this much rasam i need at least this is like 2 liters i need at least 3 teaspoons so based on how much rasam you are making you can add the rasam powder while adding the rasam powder make sure the stove is on simmer with one hand I'm not able to manage the with the spoon so I'm adding with the packet and you see on the top nice red foam is forming and it smells really good at this point let it boil nicely for another five minutes I'm going to add some more coriander at the end. And then turn it off. Separate small tawa. I put some ghee, very little and little bit of oil. Don't put more oil in rasam as it will float on top and doesn't taste good. We are adding some hing powder. This is the rasam tadka or tempering. curry leaves, methi seeds, jeera, mustard seeds, Once the rai, the mustard seeds platter, turn it off immediately and put it in the rasam powder. Rasam. And make sure to place a lid immediately on the rasam. This stores all the flavor of the tempering in the rasam and gives it an extra taste. Just for a few seconds. Just in the lid, give it a stir. It can be stored in the refrigerator three to four days. But when you are reheating it, make sure you take how much ever you want, not more than that. You keep reheating, it's not good. So when you are storing in the refrigerator, make sure the rasam is cool to the room temperature. Then you can place in a a nice um, airtight lid box and put it in the fridge whenever you want to eat you can heat some you can drink it as a soup too that's what my north indian friends do thank you for watching bye bye